Okay, Ricky, let's role play. Somebody in my family just died. I don't even know you exist. Right. I'm sitting down with the director saying, I'm stricken with grief. Help me get through this. And he's upselling me like crazy. Where are you? You're nowhere. You're not even inside that room because you're not in the funeral parlor. The bodies always go there first. They don't come to you. You have no dead guy magnet. So one of the things that I actually use to attract clients I have a therapy dog, and we visit hospice and nursing homes. And as people die, you that's wait people for visit. people to that's die. That's one of the ways that we get business. Yes. Oh come on! Does he kind of smell who's about to croak? And, I wish he could. That would make it a lot easier. Do you not think you're taking advantage of people? Absolutely not. You're going out to people with a dog to make them feel comfortable, right? So you can sign their family up for this deal. I'll tell you what's wrong with it. She's not Kevin, charging Kevin. for it. Kevin, just shut up for a sec. No, 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 no. There's no money. Because in you know it. what? I know you don't give a crap. I do but... give a crap. She's making no margin on the dog. There's a more fundamental problem with this presentation. You're trying to get in front of people in their moment of need. Absolutely. And you're trying to take advantage of their grief. No, I'm trying to get like business. Like every funeral home does, Robert, exactly. every day. There's no difference. I think she's a slick businesswoman, and I think deep down she knows she's taking advantage of people. And she doesn't have a problem with it. But you know what? I do. 